Dear distinguished guests of the Social Economy EU Conference, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to EU Social Economy Conference 2023 here in Gothenburg. And I hope you are as excited as me to work uh, out the, the, throughout this, this day. I will be your moderator throughout the day. And uh, my name is Gordon Hahn. I am the chairman of uh, Companion, which work with the uh, startup and development of cooperative um, development in Sweden. Uh, I've been working with Social Economy internationally since the beginning of 2000. And I was reflected yesterday about how far we actually have come in this area on the EU level. If you turn back the time, 20, 25 years, I remember that there were only one in one policy area we could work with social economy on the European Union level, and that was employment. Uh, and today, when we look at the uh, social economy action plan, and when we see all the different policy areas that is actually handling social economy on the EU level, we are actually mainstreaming. We are in all the policies of the European Union. And the social economy action plan is a very important thing of that. Uh, I, I think you had the, the interpretation there, um, looking at Bjorn. Uh, you have the interpretation on your mobile phones, and that will be a QR code there. So if you use that QR code, you will enter into the in, in, interpretation on your mobile phone. So you will hear direct in, in, interpretation through your mobile phone in your headphones during the conference. Some other Practicalities is that the toilets is just outside here, uh, directly there, or you when go to the right, you will find more toilets. Uh, emergency exits, we have one down here, we have one down there, and otherwise the door where you entered the room in case of emergencies. Uh, we are not allowed to have any food or drinks in this, uh, in, in this hall. Uh, all foods and drinks are served outside, and you have to drink them up outside, so you don't bring them in, in here. Uh, there are some uh, information about the program, and we have some guides outside. So if you want to, to know more about the program, you find it outside. We have also prepared a declaration or manifesto, and you find that just before you exit this room. Uh, and we will have soon a little... Uh, uh, because the idea is that you, as participants of this conference, will prioritize what we will actually get out from this conference. But I will, I will come back to that later, and Bjorn will, will show you that. Um, as I initiated, well, I can tell you a bit about the program as well. So between now we, we will have a, a, a first small session, a welcome session, and then there will be uh, plenary sessions, tw two of them, uh, so until 12.30 with a coffee break. Uh, but until 12.30 we will have plenary sessions here. And then there will be workshops, and we will present the workshops before we go to lunch, so you can see where you want to go. And there will be different workshops in two levels here, but I, I will show you more about that between 14 and 16, and then we will gather again here after a coffee break. We will meet up and uh, sum, sum up this, this day between 16.30 and 17.30 in this, in this room. And there will be a reception uh, ending up the whole day at the terrace afterwards. So that's basically it. But you will also find the program uh, printed outside. Uh, as, I, as I started with, uh, the social economy is regarded today as a European success story. Uh, today, we gathering here in Gothenburg uh, to unleash the full potential of the social economy and carrying out the EU fundamental values of democracy and citizenship also into the economic sphere. Um, recently also the United Nations adapted uh, the resolution for social and solidarity economy, for sustainable development and we have in this declaration that we have prepared also urged the European Union to further deepening the international cooperation for even better social economy policy development. So we do that on a more international sphere. And recently Europe, as you all know, has faced 
sev several challenges in the last decades, including complex societal challenges such as uh, environmental threats, pan pandemic issues, migration, and more recently the war in, in a neighboring country, but also historical inflation and high energy prices. And all this, we, the social economy stakeholders, may collectively build a true social market economy that reconciles economic performance with social progress and environmental sustainabilities. A main topic for today's conference is this, that if we want to do that, we need to understand that the social economy is consisted by a heterogeneic uh, infrastructure of different organizations. We need to address them as that. Uh, the future work for an even stronger social economy in Europe needs to further strengthen the harmonization of le legislation and finance, full inclusion in the EU market, and make the social economy impact more visible, uh, bearing in mind the diverse of the sector as well as different conditions for the social economy in different member states. So when we want to harmonize the legislation and the rules and the, and the, the tools on the European level, we actually have also to understand that it looks really, really different where in Europe you are, you are, you are um, uh, developing your social economy uh, part. So this is something we really want to highlight on this conference. Um, and therefore we have uh, put out 11 different priorities that we need to work with out from that perspective. And we will show you now, Björn will take the floor and show you how we will do this work regarding the different priorities. Yes, thank you, Gordon. And welcome to Gothenburg, everybody. Um, we, uh, as Gordon said, uh, we, uh, we have the Gothenburg uh, Manifesto, uh, which we will uh, ask you to uh, co-create with us. So uh, as you can see on the screen here, uh, we have 11, uh, what do we call them? 11 priorities. Priorities, yes. And you can, uh, these are the very short uh, names of the pri pri priorities, but you can find the more uh, extensive text uh, on the conference website, socialeconomy2023.com, and also there are some printouts uh, by the door uh, in this room as well. Uh, so what we would like you to do is to go to menti.com, and you can do this uh, throughout the day. You can do it now, you could do it later. Uh, you can take a screenshot of this if you want to remember the code that you can see on the top of the screen. And we will ask you then to uh, go to menti.com and use the code at the top of the screen. And then you can prioritize, you make your own, own prioritization of these 11 um, topics. And uh, at the end of, of the day, we can see, okay, what do we as a group uh, feel is the most important ones. Okay, yeah. thank you. So you, you can do it, yeah, you see, someone has started already to prioritize. And you can do that now. You can do it now, you can do it during the day. There will be some QR codes, and if you use that menti.com and use that code, you will enter in that. You will also find the first draft of the declaration, uh, as I said, before you, you exit this room. And there you have a long description of, of all these different priorities. So the idea is to get you to, to prioritize of these different 11. We know that all of them are important, otherwise they wouldn't be there, but we need to put them in priority. So it's important that you do this work, and in the end of the conference we will, we will show you the results and you will have another chance to see live when you actually do that, that prioritization. But re regardless of that, uh, we, I also figured out yesterday that I think that this is the first European Social Economy Conference after the action plan for the social economy, isn't it? I think this is the first one. So we really also need to embrace the action plan for social economy because that is actually a, a, a milestone for social economy on the European level. And 
But to unleash the full potential of the social economy for the peoples of Europe, the recognition of the sector, the financial ecosystem, the knowledge, as well as the innovative impact valuation of the sector needs to further be strengthened. And therefore, we also want to have a perspective from this conference that it's important to continue supporting the development of the social economy, implementation of the social economy action plan by building a conducive ecosystem for the social economy rather than fit the social economy into existing systems. So therefore, we will have two panels now in the beginning. One that are focusing why is it important to support the social economy continuously. And the other one is how do we build this conducive conducive ecosystem.